Hello, Cancer. I missed you guys. Hope everything is going well for you, Cancer. You want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmates. As usual, first we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video. Whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Cancer. Ooh, what happened here? Heartbreak is showing up here. And this is you mm, very guarded emotionally towards your soulmate. Let's see, universe, please show us what's coming up for cancer in their life and how is cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for cancer in their life and how is cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? This one over here strongly wants to show up as extra message. Oh boy. Yeah. <clears> hmm. <throat> so this is how you view your soulmate based on their behavior towards you. You view them as in and out of your life. Yeah, not taking this relationship seriously. Yeah. You are very guarded emotionally towards them. Yeah, you're not communicating with them. You don't want to fight, argue. This is you taking a step back or two steps back, uh, feeling like you need Time in solitude. Mm. So some of you have been going through some kind of mm, challenging situation, maybe with your health. You see how you're laying down here? But it looks like um, there's a surgery for some of you coming up or you considering a surgery because here we have knight of swords with a sword interesting um doesn't mean you have to have surgery but you may be uh, considering a surgery in the near future or some kind of surgical procedure hmm you're disappointed in your soulmate connection. You see, you feel like you're losing passion for your person. Yeah, like you're losing interest, like you don't feel passionate about this relationship anymore or this connection. Yeah, because the ace of wands is reversed. You want a soulmate that's reciprocal, that's present in your life, that communicates, that is present. Yeah, you don't want to be chasing them. You feel alone, yeah, you feel alone in this connection. You don't feel like you are in a relationship with them, or rather, you don't feel like they are in a relationship with you. You know, please show us, this kind of concerns me because this shows um, some kind of issues with health, but you're gonna have to make some kind of decisions for yourself. Let me see, you know, please show us, Maybe you worried too much. Stress also. Yeah, you know, please show us what's coming up for cancer and how is cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? You care for this person, but you don't feel like it's going anywhere. Yeah. This is you concentrating on your health, your job, your business, your money, your finances. Yeah. You're taking a break from your soulmate connection. It's like you are feeling absent from your connection, not communicating, not telling them where you stand, what's going on. You just feel you need alone time, time to yourself. <clears throat> this is you meeting new people of significance, new people entering your life, Cancer. Yeah, people that you know from past lifetimes. You see, this combination is very powerful. Six of Cups, past lifetime connections with Wheel of Fortune. People that you meet every time that the all of you uh, incarnate together. So <clears throat> you agreed on a soul level to meet them again in this lifetime. You love this person, but you don't feel passion between you two anymore. You still care for this uh, 
individual but you don't feel it's going anywhere yeah new love dawning for you you see this you have free will to decide if you want somebody or not yeah you're gonna have to make a decision it has to do with two things your job income money profit and your health yeah you're gonna have to make a decision something to do with your health oh beautiful beautiful the best card in the whole deck you really need a long time away from people in the drama mm -hmm. you're gonna make the right decisions for yourself about your health especially and your money too but you more concerned about your well-being your health your recovery whether you've been going through a lot of stress or your energy feels low or you're sick physically with some kind of ailment uh, this shows healing yeah this shows healing yeah so whatever you're doing be patient because healing takes time emotional healing of the heart and physical healing of the body both take time yeah yeah you feel like your energy is off like your energy is not balanced because the ace of wands is reversed okay let's see this is you not feeling a hundred percent also feeling alone in this relationship or connection you know what's show us what's coming up for cancer and how is cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey new beginnings in your life yeah you feel sad you feel emotionally sad that it didn't work out the relation yeah yeah, this is how you view them based on their behavior towards you. Knight of Wands and Page of Swords. So this person does not communicate with you effectively. They don't listen to your concerns. They don't make a commitment. Yeah, they in and out of your life, confusing you with their behavior. <clears throat> you are concentrating heavily on yourself, your health and your financial stability, independence. Good for you yeah let's see what's going on with this person of yours that showed up as my least favorite court cards to describe a person knight of wands and page of swords you know as we show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of cancer and how is that soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time especially emotionally what's going on currently with that soulmate of cancer and how's that soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time especially emotionally Ooh, they in love. <laughs> this person is in love with you, but they don't show it, don't express it. And for this to show up in position one is significant because it means that they are aware. They're not in denial about their feelings for you. They know that it's deep, real, genuine love they feel for you. Not some kind of crush that's going to fade away after a few weeks or a few months. But this also shows me that this person doesn't really express to you how they feel about you, how much you mean to them emotionally. They hide it. They don't express it like they should, if at all. Yeah, you see, they don't communicate with you effectively. The sword is pointing down. They want to communicate, but they don't communicate effectively. They don't really reach out on their own. They don't like to extend the olive branch. They don't like to initiate communication. They don't express emotions. Yeah. They're very stubborn, set in their ways. They don't like to initiate communication. They don't like to apologize. They don't like to listen. They don't like to uh, admit to their mistakes. They can be very stubborn, set in their ways. They like to be alpha. They like to be in control. Oh, boy. So there's a lot of stuff that you're not aware of uh, about this person. Like they hide things. Mm-hmm what's going on here yeah they awaiting very important communication with you this is unexpected passionate communication so they have a lot of love and passion for you but they very secretive um wow let's see universe please show us um what's going on currently with that soulmate of cancer and how is that soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time especially emotionally i need to shuffle more i feel it you know what's show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of cancer and how is that soulmate of cancer 
towards cancer at this time, especially emotionally. This is how they view you, solid marriage material, attractive. Yeah, they like what they see in you. They in love. Yeah, but this is hidden, unspoken, not really shown. Hmm. Yeah, you see, they miss you a lot. This is them realizing that they need to meet you halfway. They can't just come and go as they please if they want to have a solid relationship. They feel a lot of guilt. So this shows me uh, this person has emotional baggage from past relationships that they need to address, work on. Yeah. That emotional baggage, whether they admit to it or not, is really negatively affecting their connection with you, how they communicate with you or don't communicate with you, how they express emotions or don't express emotions, how they make a commitment or don't make a commitment, right? Universe, please show us. Hmm. Interesting. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the summit of cancer. Look how much they miss you. They feel so sad, empty without you. You see, they're hiding. So this is them hiding how much they truly care about you, how much they love you. They're not expressing it, not showing it. Yeah, a lot of emotional baggage that they need to address, work on. There were some serious... Uh, heated arguments between you guys mm. they can be very stubborn set in their ways the ego is very fragile hmm. a lot of you are dealing with aquarius gemini popping up here virgo and taurus look how badly they want to be back in your life but this worries me yeah the seven of swords five of swords on top of the the emperor, that worries me. There's a lot that they need to discuss with you honestly and openly. There's too much that they holding back that you should be aware of. So whether they're trying to protect you emotionally or are embarrassed, whatever it is, they need to really be open with you if they want you in the life, if they want you to stay in the life. Yeah, it must be show us. Hmm. What's going on currently with that soulmate of cancer? Yeah, very important to this person. This is how they view you. Yeah, Empress, you are of high quality. Yes, they respect you a lot. You see, they, they feel tied up like uh, something is going on in their life where they feel unable to free themselves to be with you like they would like to. There's something going on in this person's life. Yeah, a lot of drama in this person's life that they need to figure out, work on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want to see you. They're showing up as emperor again. They want to see you. Let me see one more card for you, Cancerians. Let me see one more for Cancer. The sun. Whatever it is that you're going through with health, whether it's your emotional health or physical health, this is you taking proper steps to heal. This is the best card of all cards in a tarot deck. So this is you healing. It's going to take time, obviously, but this is you healing. Yeah, from whatever it is you're going through, whether it's emotional healing or physical healing. Yeah, you see this? This person has something going on in their life that they're not telling you about, but it looks like they are tied up in some kind of karmic situation, yeah, that they need to resolve. Look how much guilt they feel about losing you. Yeah, they're holding on to you. They're not able to release you, let you go. They have a lot of drama, shenanigans going on in their life. They need to figure out. This is you meeting again, new people of quality entering your life. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, hmm. Cancerians, we're going to go into your extended reading, obviously. We're going to ask about this person, obviously, but also new soulmate that's entering your life. So first, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine 
long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life that showed up as Wheel of Fortune, yeah, and Three of Cups. So uh, also new chapters, new beginnings in your life, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So cancer, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.